with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet. Right, okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for another video. Uh, it's like the beginning of January. Big Boris has put us into lockdown. Uh, well, he's doing it tomorrow, actually. But I thought I'd get another ride in while I can. It's quite sunny today. Sun's out. It's blasting us. And uh, the paint job on this Ninja is looking absolutely fabulous. I love it when it sparkles in the sun. I say it every time. Anyway, let's get it up. It's cold. We need to get it warmed up before we go for a quick ride. Oh, here we go. So we're in rain mode, let's get it out of rain mode, I don't want rain mode. Uh, road mode. Sport mode. No, I don't think we're going to use sport today even though it's quite sunny. There's quite a lot of mud on road today, so let's jump back into road mode. Let's try that out, I don't think I've even used road mode yet. Right, okay, the plan for today is... Butt it. Let's see if we can go get a sausage and egg from somewhere. Oh. And um, I wish I had a little ride around, just walk back up. It's been winter, it's been snowing a lot, so. Is you letting me go? Bothered, I'm going anyway. So we've got a front facing cam today. Never used it like this before, I don't know what it's like. Should give a different perspective. I can tell she's cold because she didn't. She didn't just go in properly, yet, you know. Anyway, we'll get her warmed up nice and steady away. So yeah, big Boris in the UK has done the lockdown, so we're all going back into lockdown. Well, he announced it yesterday, but it's not law until Wednesday, so. We can still have a little light uh, ride out today without be getting in trouble. Oh. So we can still have a little ride out today without getting in trouble. <coughs> We're rocking the Rurock Atlas 2.0. What an helmet, amazing. Love it, looks absolutely fabulous. Fabulous. And uh, just trying it out, I haven't really tried it out much yet. I ordered it over Christmas and then it's been naught but shite weather. Stuck behind a long line of traffic already, that's just what we love. No problem. So, um, thinking about it. I had a plan for 2021 for making a load of uh, review videos. I think that's going to go out of window now. Big Boris has put us in the lockdown till probably uh, nearly March, which is over two and a half, two and a half months, and uh, that means all showrooms and whatnot is going to be closed. So unless you've had your bikes delivered to you from the uh, manufacturers, so you can review them, then you can't go pick them up. And unfortunately. Because I don't have a proper garage, uh, they weren't delivering to me, so I've got to go pick them up. Now, I do keep my bike in storage, but um, not enough for other bikes, I'm afraid. So it looks like this channel is going to be a Moto Vlog channel until we get out of lockdown, whenever that's going to be. I don't know. I don't think anybody knows at the moment. If you're not in the UK, if you're from America, India, wherever, Basically what's happening is the COVID infection rate is absolutely taking over the UK. There's a lot of people getting ill and uh, they basically told the UK population, uh, including Wales and I believe Scotland's been told as well, that um, you can't go out of your house unless it's absolutely essential or for work. Which begs to differ because is this work? I get paid? Yeah, it could be for work. 
So can I ride? I don't know. I need to check it out. I need to ask a few people. See what the other motor vloggers are going to be doing in the UK. We'll uh, go from there, I think. But in the meantime, it's all gravy, baby. Oh, I'll tell you what, this sun's fabulous. Been naught but crappy weather for the last two months. That on my dad. I feel like I can't road for ages. Yeah, come on, if you're going to turn right, turn right. Get on with it. Let's stop. And then let's think about it, and then let's turn. I don't really have road rage, but um, I definitely hold my tongue back for this uh, YouTube job. <laughs> so on this Roo Rock, I don't know if you can see it with this front facing camera I've got the green iridescent visor Kind of looks a little bit purpley and green at the same time But it's got a tint on it, so I think it's meant to stop the sun from blasting your eyes out doing quite a good job actually because sun's quite low in the sky uh, it's at one of them angles where it's just glaring your face and uh, it's not too much of a problem actually it's doing quite well I do have the pin lock in I've inserted the pin lock it is steaming up a little bit around edges so I think I just need to take that out clean it and try to put it back in again properly because the pin locks don't work unless you get them absolutely clean before you put them on you've got to get the seam stuck really well if it's not tight, it, you know, it won't work. It's a muddy car, isn't it? I keep stalling. I had my clutch fully in then, and it's still stalled. Anyway. Da da dee da da A bit too close to this van for my liking really Can't see around Oh, we're going And we're off. Oh, I don't know what to eat yet today. It's half twelve. Dinner time. I can't wait for this sandwich. If he's open. I hope he's open. My luck is not back open back up yet from Christmas. So you watch lovely and sunny today. Can't beat it, middle of winter and you get a nice sunny day like this. You just gotta be careful at roads, you know. It looks nice but always crap on roads. Now, I don't know if you can see this with GoPro uh, Hero 9 what I've got on front, but them hills up there are absolutely chocked full of snow. You can't see it from here. I can just see hills peeking over the top. 
So I don't think we're going to be going much further up this hill. I'll get my butt in, we'll head back and down into town, I think, where there won't be any snow at all. Question is, is he going to be open? Oh, wagon's coming this way, look. He's open. We've got all chatterboxes here, look. That'll be a good sandwich. This is mine. Do a food savage with we'll a good hound. Testing butters out to where's best. Is it all coming? Oh, that's that. Sandwich smashed. Poof. Love good sausage and egg. Oh, what's going on here? Loads of oils in for. Here we go. Play chicken with his van now. Best move. Right, okay, I just want to have a little ride around now, let's see what's happening, see what roads are like, a bit further on. Try and keep old girl running in, while it's winter time. Which way do we go? Straight on or right? I think, uh, let's go straight on. Straight on. One of the beauties of motorbiking. Freedom. You can go wherever you want. Don't even have a planned designation. Just go out and go left or right. Pick whichever one you want. Doesn't matter. The freedom to explore. Tell you what, I can tell you I haven't ridden for two weeks. I'm a little bit um, unsmooth, if you know what I mean. Just knocked it into neutral then. Don't normally do that. It's not too cold today. My bike says it's uh, two degrees, but I'm actually, I feel pretty good. <clears throat> There's no like cold wind or anything. I was hoping to get up on tops and get a picture, but. As you can see, when we were riding back up towards Cafe, there was snow all on tops. So we're going to stay away from up there. Stay down on these lowlands. Oh, 
Well, the problem with being in these little villages is your bloody cars are always all over. Come out of little crevices and little nicks. Got to be careful. So I'm actually using a different microphone today. Uh, I'm just testing a couple of microphones, see which I think is best. Uh, the last video, the microphone was a little bit too much treble in it for me. It didn't have enough bass. Although it was really clear. Well, I think this one, it might pick a little whistle up in wind, but it should be really good quality audio. I hope, I mean, I haven't listened back to it yet. Proof is in the pudding. Really liking the GoPro Hero 9 at the moment. So, which is this one, what we're looking on, on the helmet cam. Colours on it are amazing. I never touch them up. I always just leave it as it is in GoPro mode. And I think the only thing I ever do is if it's a little dark sometimes, I'll just put a little bit of uh, bit of light into it. That's about it. But yeah, really liking this. The uh, camera I've got up front is GoPro Hero 7 Black. Which I'll have to turn it off in a minute because battery dies on it on constantly. It's probably ready for dying now. I've only been out ten minutes. I don't know. How do you like this perspective? Do you like it? Stick it in comments. Let me know. This uh, shield's a little bit in way, so I could do with uh, finding a better way of doing that. We're stuck in traffic at the moment. <laughs> Has anybody else got out riding yet over winter? I know a lot of people put the bikes away. A lot of my mates now, I've got them all bunged up in shed till probably March when the sun comes out, you know. It always snows here in late February in UK. So as soon as that snow's done and it comes back up to temperature a little bit, they all get their bikes back out of the shed. But until then, they're all tucked away. I mean, generally I took my bikes away, but we've had quite a nice day today, so I thought I'll jump on it for an hour. Plus we need to keep content on the site as well. Can't let it drift off. Been doing quite well, to be honest with you. Um, the amount of views that we've been getting is staggering to say that I haven't really put that many videos up. So thank you for all my uh, viewers. You're not all subscribed yet, so if you haven't subscribed, smash that subscribe button. For next month or two, we're going to be doing some Moto Vlogs, and hopefully back to doing some uh, bike reviews once we get out of lockdown in March. It's a long time. It is a long time. Ugh. Someone's beeping at the car in front, stuck at a uh, red light, a uh, green light. Sorry, Just sat there, knocked it into neutral again. My riding's shocking today. Ooh. I can feel chill up my legs a little bit, but... I don't have thermals on my legs, so it's going to get a little chill. All the top of my body where I've got his jacket and whatnot, spot on. I'm even wearing my summer gloves, my hands are fine. I don't even have any grips on. No problem. Not yet, anyway. Oh, this is going to be a boring motor vlog. I'm just stuck in traffic all the way today.
So how was your Christmas? How did everybody spend their Christmas time? Or their holidays? If you're not into Christmas, how did you spend your holiday time? Did you have any holidays? Did you get anything good for Christmas? I got a drone. You know what that means, don't you? We're going to be having some drone footage when we're out riding. It's got that follow me thing on it as well. So hopefully when I'm riding it should be able to follow me. But I haven't sussed it out yet. I need to take it for uh, some trial flights before we uh, get it on video. I think it'd be interesting uh, getting some aerial footage. <clears throat> Gives another perspective to the video, doesn't it? Hence why they've got a camera from the front as well, because it gives another perspective, you know? You're not just looking forward all the time. You, know, you can see me, you can see what's going on behind me, I think. Oh, man, I hate traffic. Can't wait for uh, springtime when the roads open up. And we can blast up and down them country roads. But at the moment, um, I'm staying away from them because they're just full of ice and snow. It's not worth it. I think the best place to be at the moment is in sort of a town centre. It's usually the temperature's a couple of degrees warmer. There's usually no snow. Usually keep roads well maintained in town centres, generally. So I'm going to go with that being the best place. I feel like dusting this car off. Not coming. A little bit naughty of me, really, that. Got leaves on the floor here. Let's just slow down a bit. Another biker. Let's see if he waves. He does. Awesome. About 50-50 round here whether they wave or not. Sometimes they just ignore you. <laughs> I've said it before. Especially when people are commuting to and from work, they're not interested. Go out on a Sunday and everybody waves on a Sunday most likely. Pinlock's doing all right at the moment. It's not fosting up too much. Highly recommend it if you buy a helmet. Definitely get a pinlock. But I thought it had fogged up with it being cold outside and my uh, breath being quite warm. But no. We stood still now. This is the fog test, isn't it? <laughs> nah, there's a little bit of fogging at the bottom, but it's not fogging up where my eye line is. It's pretty good actually, if you can see it there. I'm breathing quite heavy. Right, I okay, so we're just pretty much coming to the Sfield Town Centre now. Bit of a dump around this area, it's Lockwood around here. Not the nicest of places, but as you get into the town centre, it uh, gets a little bit better. I feel chill a little bit now on my hands. I might just stick me a grips on. I think it's because I'm going a little bit faster. 
Right, the question is where we're going to go now. I think we should uh, stay out Ring Road and go up out up on towards Motorway. Some good straight clean roads up there. Hopefully there'll be no snow. Pop through these. I don't know if that front camera's still working or not. Battery dies and it's so fast. <coughs> that dog's going mad at the back of there. <laughs> I don't think it likes bikes. <laughs> Brilliant. I tell you what, New Year's Eve just gone. That was painful. So I know some of you don't really know me all that well on YouTube. In fact, I don't really anybody knows me. But I have been a DJ uh, in the club scene in the UK for 20 years. Started when I was really young, like. I'm not going to tell you my age because you'll guess my age then. But uh, I'm not that old, I'm in my 30s. And I started in the club scene in the UK dead early. And I've worked every single Christmas, New Year's, every bank holiday, every sort of student freshers, Halloween. I've done every single one every year for 20 years. 20 years! I've never had a night... Well, I don't think I've ever really had a big night off. Cause I can't, because if I have a night off, we have being self-employed. They just get another DJ in and that's it, you're out. So... Haven't had a night off properly in 20 years. This New Year's Eve just gone. I'm in bed at quarter past one a.m. in the morning. What's that about? I didn't even have an alcoholic drink. If Well, I did have an alcoholic drink, but my uh, girlfriend bought non-alcoholic cider. 0.5%. Which is literally a shandy. Pretty much. So yeah, New Year's Eve just gone, it was painful. Just seeing all the memories come up on Facebook of like past New Year's Eve's. I'll, I'll do you know what? I'll show a couple of uh, I'll share a couple of them on uh, on here, I'll show them up now on screen. Two, one, two. Crazy. Some of them pictures have just got like thousands and thousands of people there, all waiting for me to do the countdown. And when you get to one, everyone puts their hands up in the air. And that feeling that you get being an entertainer or a DJ, and everyone just like Whoa! with their hands up, it's it's what I live for. It's absolutely crazy. And then this year. Nothing at all, nothing whatsoever. Just went to bed early, didn't even have alcoholic drink really. What's that about? I think being having been out on motorbike and starting that YouTube channel this year, because I haven't really worked properly since March, and uh, I think I certainly haven't DJed properly since March, and I think having this YouTube channel sort of took me uh, mind away from it a little bit, you know. Um, 
helped keep me sane anyway, put it that way. I know a lot of you have got home bars. Uh, if my friend's watching this, Andy, he's made himself a home bar at home. And uh, he's been drinking a lot at home and uh, it looks pretty cool, like flashing lights and stuff. And I think that took his mind off of everything what's going on. And I see a lot of other people doing similar things, you know. Uh, it's just crazy. It's absolutely fucking crazy. It's my, my language. But, you know, it's alright locking people down, but forgetting that mental awareness, you know, a lot of people struggle with being locked up. Nowhere to go. Whole life just taken away from you like that. Especially when you're self employed and you don't get paid. Some kids looking at me there. <laughs> Just dust this van off. So yeah, for that reason alone, uh, I need everybody to subscribe, 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 smash that subscribe button because I'm not uh, I'm not monetized on this channel yet. So if we could get monetized, I need a thousand subscribers, and then uh, at least I'm gonna get paid something for my time. He's doing a little dance there, that guy. So uh, yeah, please, please, please subscribe. Uh, if I get to that thousand, I'll get, won't be a lot of money, but I'll get paid something. And right now I really need that something, I suppose. Got a family to feed, you know. Anyway, I'm not begging. <laughs> if you like it, thumbs up. If you don't like it, thumbs down, that's fine. That's absolutely fine with me. So we're just coming up outside of uh, Marsh, I think now. I was hoping this road might be a little bit quieter and might have to put his foot down a little bit, but so quite a bit of traffic about. Slow down a bit. Look at this little fucking thing going. It's electric in it. That'll be flat out then. 12 mile an hour or whatever it'll do. I tell you what, this wind's getting colder. The faster I ride, the colder it's getting. Been a good little ride though so far I suppose. Uh, I'm just gonna go around this roundabout. I wanna pull over and check my battery on the front GoPro, see where we're at with it. Going right. If there's somewhere to pull over here that's uh, a lot of cars parked up. Right, okay, back in a minute, I'm just going to test my battery on me front GoPro. Right, okay, we're back. Have I put my kickstand up? Uh, yes, I have. There's no traffic coming. Let's go. Readjust myself. 
turn my battery has died on that. I hope it saved my file. Because I think when it dies, it just uh, don't process the recording and uh, gets lost. Anyhow, it's a learning curve. A bit windy up here. I think it's this lane we want, can't see. Uh, 6298 hoods. I don't come up here that often. Oh, one more away straight away. Hey, when that happens, just get ready to stop and then. <laughs> Light changes! See if it does it again. Yeah. Oh, I've got another rider up my ass. It's like we were going uh, in, to come into this lane then. I thought you were going to cut me up. We didn't do it. I don't know if you saw him then or not. Right upside of me. Should put my bum away. Oh, God. I feel draft getting up there. I don't really have a right lot else to say today, to be honest with you. All I know is everything's fucked. I'm gonna get out as much as we can, depending on the weather. So, you know, there won't be as many videos from me for the next sort of couple of weeks, two months. But, you know, I'll try my best. Hopefully then in March we'll be smashing it then. Got such a good game plan for this year as well, it's all going to end up tits up. It's the way it happens, isn't it? So I've just got a shout out as well, uh, shout out to all my American, uh, American watchers, people that are watching and listening. Um, American viewers, that's what I meant to say. Big shout out to all my American viewers that comment on my uh, YouTube because they love my accent. They find it funny. <laughs> I think it's because I've got a little bit of Yorkshire in there. And uh, I sort of, instead of saying like cola, I said cola, cola. <laughs> you know, it's like a bit of a, bit of a stretch on my words and whatnot. But yeah, they find it funny and uh, I think that keeps them entertained. So, big shout out to all my American lot, well done. Um, loving it. Sorry, my mind's elsewhere, I'm just watching the van behind me. My uh, helmet visor's just started steaming up a little bit now, I don't know why. So I'll crack it open a bit, get rid of it. It's condensation from my breath, I think. Probably a little whistling now on my microphone. I'll just let it dry out and we'll uh, stick it back down. So 
So we're just going to ride straight into the centre of town. Uh, and then that's probably going to be it for our uh, video today, to be honest with you. We've got a few more minutes yet, don't go anywhere. Feels like it's going to start snowing again, I can feel it on the wind. It's going to start raining anyway, put it that way. The GoPro Hero 9, you can't see it here, but it has got a door there which allows me to plug my GoPro mic adapter in. It's got like a little hole at the side, you know, but the thing is, it isn't waterproof. So I hope it doesn't start raining bad because uh, probably knacking my camera up. Voice 8. It's going to start raining shite now. Pretty much down at town centre now. Just gotta decide which way I'm going. Uh, let's go straight on. Straight down. That electric scooter is off. See you later. I'd love one of them when I was younger. Oh, we've got another biker down there. Look, is he coming up here? This is a no entry this, but I'm not bothered. I just wanted to see what he was riding. Can't see. So, one of my favourite bits of graffiti down in Huddersfield. This is the one, this is where we're going to end this uh, video today, I think. Uh, let's back up to a square. Round about there somewhere. Should be fine there, I think. Oh, beautiful job. That's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. We've had a good little ride out. Uh, middle of winter, just basically uh, kept motorbike warm, really. But anyway, if you liked this video, smash that subscribe button. Peace.